Hello everyone, I'll be reviewing this Android smartphone, it's by a brand called Doogie and model is X95. Now this is a budget price Android smartphone, you can purchase one for less than £100 UK currency and this has all the basic features that you need on an Android smartphone. Now it's not a, uh, it's not a mid-range smartphone or a, a flagship smartphone so you can't expect this to have the best operating system and the best processors and the best camera etc because this one won't it's a budget price for those who don't really care about smartphones and just need a smartphone that does the basics now inside the box you would get a silicon case so you have to buy a case I don't think you can find a case for this if you search it up but they provide one and it also comes with a screen protector that's already on it's not a tempered screen protector just a normal basic um, screen protectors and then it also comes with this user manual here as well it also comes with a micro usb charging cable and a mains plug it also comes with this pin as well to open up the sim tray so the sim tray should be on this side so once i open this up uh here it takes one nano sim and a micro sd memory card or two nano sims so it's your choice the way you want to put it in so got these two options and just slide it back in again on the right side it has the power button on the left side you got the volume button at the bottom it has the micro usb charging port and it also has the speakers built in at the bottom the speakers are not really that good as well and at the top it takes a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack it has a triple camera at the back with a flashlight and at the front it also has a one 5 megapixel camera at the front as well. Now, this has a 6.52 inch water drop display, so the screen size is quite big and it has a 95% screen ratio. Plus, it has a built in 4350 mAh battery capacity that gives you a good more than 6 to 8 hours of usage time per full charge, but it takes a while to charge up again because it doesn't really have a uh, 18 watts fast charge however it does have a 10 watts fast charge so it does sl slightly charge up uh, slightly faster than usual also it has a built in 2 gig RAM and 16 gig internal memory so bear in mind you can, you can download a few apps not many because it will use up all the memory however you can put a micro SD memory card and expand that 2 gig RAM so you can't really do uh, many things on this smart, uh, smartphone so you can't really do uh, you know open up a couple of apps because it will slow down dramatically so bear that in mind uh, it, operate, it has an operating system of android 10 so you got the um, latest operating system and it also has up to 12 hours of working time so a, a bit longer than uh, what i mentioned but i'm saying if you're con consist consistently uh, using this uh, f playing games, um, talking on the phone con constantly, then um, it would take around six to eight hours before the charge runs out. It also has a 15 days uh, standby time as well. Uh, the rear camera here, sorry about the fingerprint because this one has, you know, this design in a way where a lot of fingerprints come on. Okay, now there's three cameras there. One of them is a 30 megapixel, the other two are 2 megapixel, 2 megapixel. The camera is really bad. I've taken a couple of pictures, I've also done a video recording. It lags a lot and it struggles to uh, focus. Now, even when it comes to taking pictures as well, it, it, it takes a while as well. It takes a delays, I think, around 4 to 5 seconds before it takes a photo. And that's really bad. But it's a budget price, so you can't really expect much, like I've mentioned. Now let me go to settings and touch control wise it, it works it works fine. I just want to go I just want to go through the storage. Now I've skipped the registration bit. I went directly to the main menu. I haven't connected the Wi-Fi or anything. So without up doing any updates, it's already used up 27%. So you have around just about 12 gig of memory left remaining to use up there's still plenty to download whatsapp facebook etc but the more memory uses up the less it has the slower it gets it also has let me just go to security here now it does have face unlock that's that's a good good thing about this however it doesn't have a fingerprint unlock so you've got face unlock which is 
which is a good uh, advantage because a budget price smart uh, smartphones don't really have these kind of features it also has the gesture um, settings here where you can put three fingers to screenshot gesture motion and smart motion here and you got the dual speed you got the QR code scanner so even even my phone doesn't really have that and my one is a flagship phone the fact that this one has that is pretty cool you don't really need this but to download certain smart um, most smart watches require you to download an app and you need to download uh, an app for example a code scanner app from play store however this one already has that built in it's not a bit, uh, something that really stands out but you got something there you got a system and about a phone that's all that's all everything there let me go to the camera bit here now so where's the gallery on this um let me just go to camera let me just show you taking a photo so i'm going to take a photo of this let's try it Okay, that, that had a slight delay with the flashlight on. That, okay, that is with the flashlight on. And that one captures it a quick, bit quicker. So it's with the flashlight on, it has a slight delay. You can see. Now, video recording, I've also done that. So let me show you. So let me put on max brightness so I can show you exactly how it looks. No sideways. Auto rotation even on. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Okay, and put it this way now. Okay, so that's so that's the picture I've taken without the uh, lights on. It's, it looks okay to be honest for a camera like this. This is with the flashlight on. It's okay, and this is a video recording I've done. Now for a budget video camera you can't really expect much however this is really bad you can move when you move it side to side you can see lags a lot when you go close to it it takes ages to focus so you can see it takes a bit of time to focus but it does focus afterwards but when you move you can see it lags a lot and that's really bad i mean for for this price range there are so you've seen the uh, video camera and the uh, taking pictures of this with this camera uh, for a budget price smartphone can't really complain much however you've heard the you you heard me speak on the video you can hear the um, the speaker squeaks a lot uh, that's something i don't really like and that's not on max volume as well so if it's on max volume it will be even worse however it does all it does all the basics it does have a big screen as well that's something i like the design is nice and it does have a good battery life so that's something else that stands out so thank you for watching my video please do give a like and subscribe